Hey, what's up guys? I have here and welcome back to a brand new video and today we're gonna to be playing some new game modes on F1 2019. Yes, yes, I know it's taken me long enough, but finally we're gonna dive into the new Legends Senna v Pros mode. We've got eight mini challenges. Looks like we've got a checkpoint challenge, overtake pursuit, time attack, another checkpoint, overtake pursuit, and they're ending off with a time attack at the Japanese Grand Prix, I, I believe, I think. It would be quite fitting, but, but this should give us a flavor of the whole Senna v pros rivalry i have not seen any gameplay of it you know I've, I've seen other people do videos on it but i've not watched any of it so i'm going in raw and i'm very curious to see how this works because obviously this was effectively dlc added on you got the legend edition and you got this part of the game so i'm curious to see what it actually plays like so let's just dive in and uh, see what's what so the first one is a checkpoint challenge race around the track until you reach the target distance whilst also staying ahead of your rival additional time is added to your counter with each checkpoint point cross so uh we're gonna go for well we've got easy medium and hard difficulty i'm gonna do it i'm doing this on a controller because i wanted to kind of have a bit more of a laid back style with this one so i'm gonna go with medium just for the sake of i'm on a controller so i'm not gonna be driving as quickly as i do on a wheel we can select who we want to be we can either be Ayrton Senna or alan pross now who do i want to want to be well i'll probably go for Senna just because i think a lot of people will find that as a popular choice but i think i'll choose maybe pross for a few other ones but we'll start off by choosing the man, the myth, the legend, Senna in the uh, McLaren. Let's go for it here. Monaco, invitational, checkpoint challenge. Getting straight to the deep end here. Pad up Monaco. What could go wrong? Putting aside for a moment the excitement of the Formula One World Championship, today's historic invitational makes a nice change of pace. It not only serves as a way to revisit some of the best cars in the sport's history, but also gives the drivers the opportunity to show off their skills and demonstrate to the crowds exactly why their reputations are so well deserved. Right, Crofty, but I'm pretty sure the reputations of these two is pretty cemented. They don't need reminding with the Invitational event. I think they might have actually recorded this commentary for maybe an Invitational event in the career mode, and they've just kind of bunged it in now to this separate... That's a little bit... little bit weird. But here we are then. Race around the track. We've got to meet the distance. We're in the 1990 McLaren MP458, and we've got a time limit of 47 seconds, which... Seems like a lot, but I think we'll, we'll go by quite quickly if I make a mistake. But let's get into this then. All right, getting into it then. Here we go. Five red lights and the challenge begins. So I've got to try and, well, get through the checkpoints basically in 47 seconds whilst uh, staying ahead of my rivals and banging the walls, it would seem. So Prost is ahead of us. So we've got to try and catch him, I think, and overtake him whilst doing the checkpoints here. So we've got one gate there. We've added on some seconds. I'm very, very bad at this. Oh, my God, this car is... Very different to the ones I've been driving in Korea, but Prost is just down the road. I've just realized there with the heads-up display, the way I've... I, because you can customize the heads-up display on PC. The customization I've got means that the second counter is ahead of the... Uh, is on top of the of the timer. That's a bit awkward, but come on, going through... Okay, that was much better. Got to try and roll the car through. Roll it through second gear. Get the power down right through the tunnel. Right, we're catching, we're catching. You know what? I can't lie. I think medium is a bit too medium. <laughs> Even for me on a controller. I've got a warning though for track extension. We've got a uh, plus plus few more seconds and we're catching up to Prost. This will be it though. Can we get past Prost? We know Monaco is uh, difficult to pass, let alone in these uh, these snaky wide cars. And obviously Prost and Senna have had their fair bit of defensive masterclasses over the years uh, when they were racing. So let's try and see if we can get past. But first of all, we need to actually catch up to him here. Uh, Nice and easy. This this car really has no grip mid-corner. Right, here we go. Should be able to do it in a straight line. Round the outside of Frost. He squeezes me there a little bit there. He's still there on the inside. We get it done, though. And we're up into first place just about into turn one cleanly. And we continue to go. Target distance is 7.5 kilometers. We are about halfway there. So keep going. So, so far, checkpoint-wise, pretty okay, actually. Like I said, I think medium has maybe been a bit too medium for me. Maybe I think that I, I, think I could definitely probably do hard. Even on the controller here, to be honest. Uh, okay, we've got 21 seconds now left. So the timer is getting shorter and shorter as we go through these checkpoints. And I've still got a decent amount of distance to go. This is going to be a little bit fine, actually, you know. Hey, if you don't behave yourself from now on, we're going to end up disqualified. What? I'm behaving myself. What am I doing? I've, I've gone over some bumps, but it's fine. Right, last 10 seconds. Where are we? We're at the target distance and we'll get to the next checkpoint. We've made it. We've made it with uh, literally two, three seconds to spare. We've made the checkpoint. We've made the target distance. So we should be fine 
and we will get the hopefully gold medal, I would assume, in this challenge as we go through. Zero seconds, checkpoint's just there, but we've made it anyway, got the target distance. And so that should be us with the uh, checkpoint challenge passed. Is there no medal? There's no medal, I just pass or fail, so it's just like a driving test. I've passed it, there we go, we've passed it. Right, we move on then to the next challenge. That was that was uh, pretty simple. Hopefully the next one will be a bit more challenging, I think. Right, overtaking challenge. Right, now this one might be a bit more uh, tricky because we've got to feel the drivers, including your rival, to overtake before the time runs out. We'll go to hard, and this time we're going to go and swap to Alan Prost. Let's see if we can do some overtaking with him at the Italian Grand Prix. He'll be in the Ferrari, so quite fitting that will be uh, in Proscar for this one, I think, uh, being at Monza. You're joining us today at just the right moment. Two very iconic drivers with a legendary rivalry are about to go head to head for a classic showdown of pure driving skill. I'm really excited about what we're about to witness, so let's go. You can really tell Crofty really didn't mean it when he said, I'm really excited, I'm ready to go. But at least he got the commentary right part about, at least the commentary was right about two uh, iconic rivals going head to head. But here we go then. We've got a time limit of 4.20. We're in the Ferrari and we've got to overtake, well, 10 opponents, I think that said. So let's get into it then. And this Ferrari sounds pretty naughty. And it's, uh, it looks a lot wider compared to the McLaren we just drove. Right, here we go. Uh, yeah, we're in set 11th place. Uh, so we're going to try and overtake 10 cars here within four minutes. I think that's doable. I think I think we can do that. Just not just not try and lock up too much into turn one. Obviously, the whole point is we're in a kind of... I think, I think the whole point is we're meant to be in faster cars than the ones we're overtaking. So this should be pretty simple for the first few passes. Then we get to the first number one car. That might be a bit more tricky, but I've got to make sure I don't try and break as late as I can in the uh, 2019 cars, nor try and carry as much speed. On the exit, these cars are very wobbly as well. Oh, we're catching up to... Uh, Michael... S oh, my lord. It's gone wrong. It, ah, that's not gone well. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. All right, Michael Ski, we're going to have you, son. Here we go. Oh, very, very iffy overtake there, but we got him, we got him. Right, down the inside of uh, Le Levisure, I think that is. We're now in C3 territory, I think. Well, I'm in a C2 card, so that should mean these cars are still worse than mine. Once we get to C2 territory, that might be an issue, but let's see. We've got two two minutes 40. I'm not too sure if um, if that's enough time, to be honest, actually. Or well, actually, do I re actually do I remember it wrong? Do I think the cars get worse as we get to P1. I think that's the whole point, because P1 needs such a head start there, so we're going to hopefully bunch up quite a lot to a lot of cars, but I'm just looking at that timer thinking, I've also got to make six passes in two minutes 20. That just seems quite close, quite fine, but all the cars are bunching up now. Can we get Visa down the inside? Yes, we do. That was a crucial overtake there. Had to make that one stick there and there to left-hander. Now we've got a Zoomy in the next car, and then we've got a few cars that are all bunched up together. I think I can see ahead, so let's take this easy. That track. That corner again, catching me out there on the throttle. Right, easy does it, easy does it. Right, part of the power. Here we go. Easy overtake, no DRS, of course, but we've got him. Now we've got Clark. Is it Jim Clark? I doubt it. We're up into, we're going to try and catch him for P4. Here we go. Good exit. He's sparking away. No trouble for us, though. We're past him. Next, Morena for the top three. But you can see P1 and P2 very close. P1, though, is actually quite far away. So that's got me worried a little bit. Can we even catch Senna? and get that P1. Here we go. Morena's going to get done. Then it's going to be Lawson. And then it's just me, V Senna. Prost, V Senna. Here we go. Time to catch Senna. 1 minute 11 to go. That is going to be quite tricky because he's already passed and through turn two here. I don't think I can do this, guys. We've got 20 seconds left. I'm nowhere near Senna. I don't think I can actually do this. I think we're going to fail the challenge and not be Senna. We've got 10 seconds nearly. I've got to... to <laughs> It's not possible. I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm even cutting the corner here. I can't do it. Oh, no. No, no. It's gone. It's gone. We're going to fail the challenge. Senna has won this one. Prost has lost. I feel bad for Prost. He's lost both challenges now. Uh, both my fault. I beat him the first one and I've not taken him to victory this time. Well, that was inter I didn't think I was going to fail that one. Right, the pursuit challenge now. We're going to be in the same car as Senna, a similar performance to yours, but the rest of the field made up of slower cars. They'll have a head start. So this is the one where we're catching slower cars. Maybe the last one was just kind of all the same cars, same C2 spec. Uh, but this one will be the slower cars with a head start. So going to go with hard again. 
and see how we go. I was going to go with Senna again. Maybe Senna's my good luck charm. We're at Brazil, though, so it makes sense. Senna, Brazil, hopefully everything comes together. I can actually pass this challenge now and not fail it. All right, here we go. Three laps to do this. We're P5, and obviously the others will have a head start as they get away from the grid. And then it's my job to try and catch up. So here we go, then, to five. Red lights, three laps with Senna at Sao Paulo. Pretty perfect, let's go. Right, catching our first car here. Can I go around the outside? Easy does it. No, my. Well, that's not gone well, has it? Take number two at that overtake. Round the outside. These cars are a lot wider than I actually thought. My God, and he's going to... What are you doing, man? Look where you go. Stop squeezing me off on the curb. Jeez. Not even playing career mode here. You've got nothing to play for. It's a one-off It's a one off invitational, all right? You want to be invited back. Right, we're really gaining a lot here. We should be able to make a move into turn one, maybe. I mean, no, no, you know what? That's my inner Crofty coming out saying we can make a dive bomb from this far back. But I genuinely thought he was going that slow. We could maybe catch him. But no, we'll catch him through the center S. How fitting on the exit. We're going to get him. It's Oh, another, another, another case of a man. What is going on with his AI? Come on. Stop hitting me. Stop going too wide. I'm there on the outside. Give me the room. I'm not exactly got the best steering in the world right now here with a controller. Right, ideally, need to get Sari here before the end of Sector 2, to be honest, because then I need to chase after Prost the entire last lap. Again, this might be quite difficult. I might not actually get this done. Right, round the outside of Sari. Here we go. Oh, again? What is going on here? Come on! You're all being paid off by Prost. That's what's happened here. Right, we're up into P2. Time to chase Prost down. We've got one entire lap. Eight, sec eight seconds to find in one lap. Yeah, if, if anyone can do it, it's Senna. But, I mean, this is going to be a big ask. All right, pushing like a stabbed rat. I think we've got the gap down to about five seconds, maybe, or six. But I can see him there. We're gaining through the last corner, though. Come on, get a good exit. Is there Rich Mix to use? Can I use it? Yes, Rich Mix, go. Come on, Rich Mix me up. Come on. I didn't even know there was Rich Mix. Come on. Gaining, gaining, gaining. Photo finish. Photo finish. No. Come on. One second. If I knew there was Rich Mix, I definitely would have caught him there. Cah. Well, the title does say trying and failing at new game mode, so it's not like I didn't warn you guys. Now, you know what? No messing about now. We're going to go to the Big Daddy, the Japanese Grand Prix. Skip all the way to the end because... I don't want to go through multiple failures just to get to the end and have none of it done, pretty much. So we're going to go to Japan, and we're going to finish this off in style. Suzuka, the infamous place. Senna, v Prost. Let's see if I could recreate something, huh? I mean, I, I'll be, I'll, I'll laugh a lot if we could recreate that, but I don't know what the chance of me catching up to Prost at the exact right time would be a thing, but let's see. Right, it's a time attack, but I assume Prost is actually here out on track racing with us. I hope, I think. Yeah, he's ahead of us here into turn one. So we've got five minutes to try and catch him, basically, I think. And oh my god, I did not. I was not ready for that turn one here. But now, come on, let's try and feed this through. Easy does it. Try and avoid the grass as much as I can, Arav. Come on. Keep it in fifth gear, though. Let the car just roll through. Roll. Too much roll. All right, decent first lap here. We've caught him up. I reckon I could get him on this second lap here now, I think. I think we'll be good. Just try and get, uh, try and get this exit. Oh, I nearly absolutely smashed the wall there on the right. Right, we're good. Gaps 1.9. We can do that. I'm going to try and tactically try and just ease up a little bit. Let's try and get him on that back straight. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're going to line this up. We're going to go through 130R maybe even side by side. But into the chicane, I'm going to make the move. We're going to hold station here. Hold station here. Just keep our foot through. Oh, a little bit of contact there. But here we go. We're going to go for it to the inside of Prost. At the chicane. Oh, it's absolute scenes here, ladies and gents. <laughs> We've tapped him a little bit. We're trying to take him wide. He's trying to cut us off there. we made the overtake go. And that is Senna on Prost at Japan. And somehow, I still managed to fail the challenge. So that's just great. <laughs> And so on that bombshell, that's been me trying and very much failing the new game modes on F1 2019. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button. Let me know your thought in the comments below. If you're on your own here, do you can subscribe for weekly Formula 1 content. I've been Arava. I'm just stay. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.